guys, what is up? So today, as you saw in the title, we're gonna be repotting some planties. Plenty of planties. Um, I just wanna take a minute to say RIP to this uh, Mamie Croton here. It, I think, went into shock or something, but I think it's definitely dead. I'm gonna throw a proper funeral for the other two for my last uh, repotting video. Um, we tried what we could. It just, it, it just didn't work out. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna throw a funeral for them. Uh, we didn't make it. But I'm gonna reuse some of the soil. Um, still good soil. <laughs> it just like almost immediately all of them just kind of fell off. So I'm gonna go ahead and have my little thing of not. She just wasn't ready for us. So what we have today is, I'm also gonna be, I thought about doing this as like a live video, but I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough people come on and like ask questions or anything right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and film this and put it up. But I'm gonna look up some questions for about like getting to know me. Um, I don't know how many subscribers I'm gonna have whenever this video goes up, but I'm nearing the 100 mark, so that's awesome. That's when I can finally claim my URL. I'm thinking of changing my um, name from HTX AJ because apparently only people in Texas understand what HTX stands for because they're like, ATX is Austin, Texas, S-A-T-X, San Antonio, Texas, and everyone else doesn't understand that, so I want people to know that my name is AJ, which is the first probably question. My name is AJ, what's up? Um, so let me just kind of look up some get to know you questions that we can do while we go into these plants. First question says, who is your hero? In real life, <laughs> um, I put these gloves on backwards. In real life, my hero has to be my grandparents, um, my abuela and my abuelo. Um, I lost my abuelo when I was in sixth grade. He was my best friend and my abuela is still my best friend. Um, but just all the things that they've gone through, um, they had to leave their country of origin and come to the United States not knowing the language and all these different kinds of things. Um, I don't know, and they've thrived in their life and created a beautiful family and I just really admire them. So, and I guess as far as Marvel, because I love Marvel Universe, I am gonna say, that my favorite is Captain America, Iron Man. I like Iron Man because I like superheroes that also don't have like any inherent power um, because that is just cool to me. Um, and then um, Captain Marvel also because uh, she's a badass. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? By the ocean, by the water, I am a creature of the water. Okay, I would definitely be by the water constantly, um, making a huge mess. That's just how this be sometimes. But yes, I am a mermaid. I am a mermaid, I'm a mermaid, I'm a mermaid. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this succulent. I have it in this terracotta pot. It's growing a lot, it has a lot of new growth at the top, you can see there. Um, I'm thinking of getting some of these little bottom ones here so it can get a little bit taller and then um, making some propagations from it. Um, but I have this, it used to be a candle, so I think it's just cuter, works with my decor a little bit better, and I'm gonna repurpose this for something else. So yeah, my biggest fear, my biggest fear, spiders. Um, yeah, mainly spiders. I'm gonna have to seriously vacuum my rug. Okay, let's see how much dirt we come out here. Come on. What's your favorite family vacation? My mom grew up in Boston, Massachusetts. So anytime we get to go back to Boston, it's like my second hometown. I love it. So that's probably my favorite family vacation. Um, yeah, I don't live too far from the beach. So I grew up also like spending a lot of time at the beach, but when we go to Boston, Boston basically the water, so go there a lot. Maybe we should put some water. So. Get that wet. Okay, what else? 
If you could change something about your, what, what would you change about yourself if you could? Hmm. I don't know, to be honest. I'd have to think about that. I guess it's like a good thing that I don't have like immediate answers. I want to say that, here it comes. Ah, I'm trying so hard not to break it. There we go. We got it. Okay, I want to say that part of me, um, oh, look how nasty it got. Um, I guess like cares a little bit about people's thoughts and that's probably why I'm on the internet and probably shows my generation. Um, wait, these are just dry. I know you're a succulent, but... You are very dry. Okay. Um. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is cute. Cute, cute, cute. I think that that's something. I think um. Sometimes that that can really affect and like letting people form, um, letting people's words affect what I think about myself. A lot. Um, what really makes you angry? Who? good question. Not really a lot makes me angry. I'm a pretty chill person. Um, I get annoyed at like the most random things. And, you know, like when I'm annoyed, I don't get mean. Because to me, like anger can kind of imply like you get mean. I don't ever get like that. So, yeah. We don't gotta worry about that. <laughs> I'm never gonna like go off on anybody unless they deserve it. So that's not a problem. This baby needs a lot of help. It's hard to plant and talk at the same time. There we go. There we go. I definitely am gonna go through and clean these leaves <laughs> over <laughs> this thing in a little bit where I'm not making such a mess over my carpet. I'm trying to um, make a little like, um, like island type thing, like a roll away kitchen cart. Um, so I can cook on it, but I can also do some plant stuff up there and not have to keep coming down here to this table. That would help, I think, a lot. Just wipe it away, it's not a problem. It's not gonna hurt the plant, just gentle, so. Here's this baby. Next, let's do my little aloe vera. This is already gonna be the third time I replant this aloe vera and it just keeps expanding to the space given. And I used really bad soil this last time around on this one. Um, I used <laughs> Dollar Tree soil. Do not recommend, I was trying something out. Um, yeah, I don't recommend. These definitely could be a little bit harder. They're very moist. Um, I was trying to propagate some of them um, on the bottom here like this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this one off here come to me yes okay let's see and then there's like a little baby one here and then I'm gonna cut this other piece off here oh it ripped off okay yeah, it's a little lopsidey. Okay, this bad soil, I'm not gonna keep because it's not good. So I'm gonna put it over here in the bad pile. Look, this is all the roots that we have for how big this thing is getting. Ooh, I'm dropping this everywhere, okay. Put her down here. Let's answer another question. What was the last movie you went to? And what do you think? So the last movie I went to was yesterday. I went to see um the hustle with it had Anne Hathaway and Rebel Wilson and let me use a little one and um it was kind of like dirty rot rotten scoundrels almost exactly <laughs> to be honest but it was really good it was funny I mean you figured out the ending pretty quickly and like the the twist of the movie but like if you want a good laugh I think I definitely recommend it it's worth you know go to your discount day it's worth five bucks um i'm planting this one into a deeper thing because usually i plant aloe veras outside 
I actually have one right outside my window right here um, that's doing really well. It's actually brought it from my old house. So I'm gonna put this in a deeper setting like I normally would and just kind of keep on like what I would normally do. Okay, let's see. Do you sing at karaoke night? Yes, 100%. So there's an old video, um, not too, too old, but there's a video on my channel of me singing um, a song at karaoke. And then um, for my birthday, which I don't know when this video is going up, but for my birthday, I'm probably gonna end up doing two karaoke nights and I might just go live for those two um, days and just like you guys can see me and my friends and me and my family just do karaoke like crazy people. And yeah, also because I don't think we can get demonetized for <laughs> singing copywritten songs on live. If that's something that can happen, Someone let me know because I really don't know how the live thing works. I feel like, should I go higher up with this? No, I feel like that's good. Also, a lot of you guys subscribe to a lot of plant YouTubers and I feel like I'm finding more. So if you guys have any other suggestions of like, who should I subscribe to? Like I've gotten some people in the comments like, hey, I'm a like fellow plant YouTuber. Um. I've subscribed to all of you who have like come and talked to me and all these types of things. So if you guys have other suggestions, you again, you guys have a channel. I would love to connect with you guys and like have a meeting of the minds. Um, and then just get to know more of you guys. Especially other smaller ones because I feel like we're all kind of switching over or I'm switching over definitely because like straight up, I was just a comedy channel. And then I was just like, I love plants. Let me talk about plants. And then everyone was like, we watch you talk about plants. And I was like, oh, word? Okay, cool. And like, if you guys want to see me talk about plants, I'll talk about plants. <laughs> I'm making such a mess. That's why Plantarina has a tray underneath. I'm going to do that. I have an extra little tray. One of them I have is decorative that I have like, my little, I have plants on it and I have like a huge candle on it. I actually hauled it in my uh, at home haul video. Let's see, let me put you guys under. But look at these little babies that are coming through here in the middle. Oh, I just love aloe vera and apparently it loves me. I killed an aloe vera that people are like, it's impossible to kill. Please. I've done it. I have done it. Okay, I think that's gonna be so good. So here's this other one. Okay. Where is, I had a base there for you. All right. Okay. I'll put you back in the sun. Over here, my foot's asleep again. I'm covered in dirt. I'm supposed to take my grandparents to the store. What two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most? So I listen to pretty much three stations the most. Um, this one also has the bad soil, so it's going bye bye. Um, I listen to three radio stations the most, and that would be the um well if you're in houston <laughs> 937 the beat 979 the box so the hip-hop and r&b stations and then i listen to um sometimes the top 40 pop stations but rarely sometimes um 94.5 the alternative station the buzz and um i also listen to 104.9, which is the like Latino station, a lot. Okay, I'm actually gonna, this is an Ikea pot. It doesn't have a water hole. So should I just go, is this bigger? No. So I think I'm just gonna go into, I'm gonna go into this one, <laughs> can't cover there. So I'm not gonna use this as a cover pot. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna go into you. Yeah. I need to drill a hole 
into this. Maybe I'll show you guys how to drill into these things um, one day, but that's not gonna be today. Okay, so this middle section's pretty good on the soil. So I'll put that over here. This has like, I got this so tiny. If you guys remember my first plant haul video and it's just like expanded to every single pot I've put it in. And so I'm like, let me just put it in a huge pot and see what happens. Now that it's like summer grow season and it's a palm, I'm like, let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this underneath this hole right here. And I'm gonna put fertilizer in this one. I'm gonna put two. I just have the little fertilizer sticks in this one. But yeah, I listen to a lot of different kinds of music. Um, if you guys don't know this about me, I actually am like a trained musician. I studied uh, music music business my primary instrument was voice it took piano i also studied guitar for since i was seven um play the ukulele percussion instruments as well so i've been around um but i do mainly perform r&b style music which has become more mainstream which is awesome because that's my favorite kind of music so it's perfect if you guys are ever in houston sometimes i do shows at um warehouse live or um numbers nightclub just let me know follow my social media <laughs> and you'll see but i'm working on some new music i'll usually talk about my songs and stuff on here too i think i'm just gonna fill this up and then because it's such a small little round No, I want you to expand, honey. Expand. Go. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to sit in here? That's what I want you to do. What is this? This one's a dead one. So off with your head. These don't want to separate. Then don't separate your family. What is that? They're like maybe coconuts. Come on, baby coconut. I know. I think I forgot his name, his YouTube name, but Nick on YouTube, I'm sure you guys all know who he is. Um, he uses a spoon and I think like, and when you get to the top, it's a really good application. So you don't make messes like I'm doing right now. In the beginning when you're doing so much in like big potted plants, I like this one I got. I got this as a gift, was it this one? No, I bought this one at the dollar store. This one I got as a gift from, uh, for selling a house. <laughs> but, um, But I like this thin style here to at least, like I feel like at least in this application. I also am in, like looking for more concrete style pots. So if you guys have any recommendation for those. Again, if you guys go to my um, my first Walmart like mega haul um, video, I hauled some like concrete little pots. If they have those bigger, I got bigger ones, but I mean like big, big because my yucca plant needs to be repotted. And I would love for it to be in a concrete pot because again, it goes with my style and my decor. Um, I would love that. It doesn't have to be from Walmart. Obviously you guys know I love Walmart, but it doesn't have to be. What is this, a bug? Ah, I just saw two bugs. Not in my house. No bugs here. I feel like I should do some sort of preventative on these, especially after that croton scare and now that i've seen like two bugs i don't think there's any bugs in the soil but i just worry this looks so pretty the way it is i'm just like living for this i have the thing to water but i just want to see it a little bit more so i can just like compact it a little bit better This thing has also been such a help. I'm gonna do a video about keeping moisture in your house and like easy ways to keep humidity in your house. But look at how pretty 
that looks now. Like this is ready for summer. I swear, I'm gonna get these here. And I'm gonna repot Miss Little Marble Queen Pothos here. But she is killing the game. I know I stopped doing questions. I'll get back to it in a second here. Let's answer one more question. If you could help someone, if you could hire someone to help you, would it be with cleaning, cooking, or yard work? Well, I only currently have someone hired for yard work. So I don't mind cleaning. I actually do enjoy cleaning. Um, I enjoy cooking as well. But there's just times where you just don't want to cook or clean. And I get that. Um, I find cleaning and cooking both therapeutic. But again, there's times when you're like, I'd rather die than do this right now. I don't know if that's just me. But I'm probably alone on the cleaning front. I used to be like a disgusting hoarder. And I can always like do a story time thing about that. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> Calm down. But yeah, no, that's that's how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't think that um let me see. This one's doing great. Oh yeah, it needed it's time. Look at these roots, dude. Look at these roots. Can you guys see that? Let's get closer. Look at these roots. It was time. I'm glad it, my like gut was telling me and like look at them at the bottom. They were ready. They were ready for this, sis. Is that my hair? Or, no, it's not my hair. I can't tell. <laughs> is it my hair or is it roots? Oh my god. And they're like rounding out the top too. I'm sure that this one. See, everyone, I've been seeing everybody and I wasn't sure. And I've seen a bunch of different YouTubers. Um, yeah, it says right here. It is a skindapsis. So I saw this as a silver pothos. But it is, says right here, a skindapsis. So my silver pothos is a skindapsis. A lot of people are getting skindapsis now. So I'm like, oh, finally I have something that other people have. <laughs> Though I think I do have a pretty cool like collection. But I'm like obsessed with pothos. I don't know. Like there's such a basic house plant. Why am I so obsessed with it? And then why did I drop this all in there and get it all dirty? That is going to be me having to clean more plants. <gasps> Just to talk about skin dapsis. You know when you just drop what you're doing to talk about skin dapsis? Same. There we go. Tender. Tenderize. Wow, these, it's really root bound. <laughs> I'm trying to loosen this baby up. Let me get, I need the big boys. Big boy. There it is. Let's see if you can see. She dripping. It's like she tripping, but she dripping. Okay. Yeah, this one I'm having trouble with it getting to like start to trail because I wanna or really wanna propagate and then create a bigger a bigger one. I see some new growth coming in from the middle here little baby new you can't even see it um we had this little leaf come out very soon and very soon very recently okay i'm gonna try and get go for it i should have put both gloves on but okay you got this yeah this is bigger this is what you needed yay you're so pretty i really wish this root would go down and not wrap around you in the top and like suffocate you i'm gonna take this off because i feel like it's making it dirtier and then i'm gonna come in with both hands i'm gonna put my hair up this is why i feel like it's easier to do these videos without talking because it's like a lot is going on and it's a lot of time yeah i need to lift you up a little yeah, let me put more dirt under me. Yeah, I'm gonna lean her a little bit more. Which side's pretty? This side. Yeah, I'm gonna 
lean her a little bit towards that side rather than this side because it's this is going to be the trailing side i'm going for I know I keep covering my face, sorry. There we go. <laughs> the faces I make, I know, I'm sorry. I'm like ready for comments. Like the faces she makes when, oh, that was way too much. Bark. So if anybody ever wonders with the dirt that ever like lands on my floor or on my table, I scoop it up and use it again. <laughs> it's not like I just throw it away because I'm like, this is all good soil. Like I still just put it back here. Okay. I think this looks good. Let me give you a little dusty dusty. Back to that question, I do like cleaning and I do like cleaning my plant sleeves. I do have like a solution for it that I like to use and it like gives them a good shine. Um, and there's easier things that you can do because I know a lot of people are like making complicated things, but there's easier ways. So if you guys want to see a video about like how to clean your plants, I'll definitely make that. Um, because especially when you get to a collection of like I mean, I don't know how many I have at this point when you lose count of your collection. And especially because I have like that big yucca back there, the other corn plant. I have plants with substantial leaves. Even these little ones with pothos, you have to clean these leaves. Um, and like I clean my uh, Philodendra Brazil. Um, you just gotta be mindful because I have a lot of company come over. There's not too much bad dust on my side of the house. I find a lot of it on the floors. Like I clean floorboards, like t not twice a week, but like at least once a week, I have to clean my floorboards. Um, like the molding on the floor. Um, yeah. Oh my God, this one's my favorite so far. Look at her. Oh my God. Guys, this plant is so pretty. If I can get my hair off of it. There's <laughs> like blonde curlies. Oh my God. I just need you to be happy. Let's see if I can find that baby and show you it. <laughs> see if you can see it. Can you see it right there? Here's a little baby. It's a little baby just trying to live her life. I'm gonna give you a little water. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put you like that. Perfect. This is a great cover pot. I don't know if they still sell them at Ikea. This is one of the first ones I ever bought. <laughs> I can't get it out. Let's see if I can. Nope, because this hasn't taken. It is 21-321. I think a muscat. Musket? <laughs> it is, yeah, muscat. So yeah, I love it because again, my decor. So we're gonna end on this marble queen here because when we got to this skindapsis it ended up being a can of worms not actual worms so that's going to be a part two video or its own separate video about opening up a plant that is just a propagated plant i don't know the title of it yet but that'll be a video that's going to come out later so be on the lookout for that so we're going to end here today with this beautiful i mean just look how pretty this is you guys look how pretty 
this plant is so we're gonna end here today so make sure you guys like this video because it really helps me out it helps out the channel and for sure subscribe because i'm not even kidding like my self-esteem is so low and it's like directly tied to how many likes and subscribers i get and since it's like so low guys i feel so bad about myself so like help me feel a little bit better about myself because therapy is so expensive like you guys don't understand how expensive therapy is so help us start out uh you can follow me on all my social media it's linked down below and uh hit you guys up in the comments let me know everything in the video if you guys like this kind of video or what kind of videos you want to see from me any plant questions you guys have any comments you have about anything i'm always down to talk and learn but until then i'll see you guys in the next video bye